Hello, good day, good day, good day, and welcome to Womiba channel. My name is Sonine, and today I'll be telling you how to go to Australia in two months, in 60 days. Yes, in 60 days, you can go to Australia. So today, just listen, today you will know all the secrets, all the truth there is, and um, how to start preparing for your traveling and all that it's quite it's quite uh, um so so um easy if you are already you know preparing yourself to travel because australia accepted that nigeria have english as of official language i have somebody that they ask for ielts -E i have somebody that they didn't ask because she submitted her results and all that and the employer accepted her so these are the different scenarios because Australia gave companies right to do their own English acceptance and all that, unlike Canada. I don't know whether I'm making sense. You know, Canada, the immigration requires you. But based on ENS, I will still get to the visa type I'm, I'm explaining. Uh, so in Canada, the immigration requirement is that for some, some certain jobs, you have to do the English text. But unlike Canada, in Australia, the company determine whether English is whether the English you passed in your country is enough. So it's for you to look at the recruitment uh, firms that are said. I know of Sansa. Sansa sometimes in South Africa they are accepting them without English IELTS. So in Nigeria, they are accepting most people. But I think there are some courses that they require you to be proficient in English. I don't know the certain uh, uh, um, the the people the courses that they require you to. Have. But it's better if you're preparing yourself to come to Australia. You have to listen to the important things. So you might ask me why Australia? Australia, their, their employment laws are better than UK laws. Working you. Uh, 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 working uh, laws in uk employment laws yeah it's a working employ employment laws in uk because in australia the working hours are flexible the annual leave are flexible the flexible work arrangement you have it is in the law it's not like in your company in uk you have to write your your manager have to determine but unlike uk us canada australia have said giving you that right to seek flexible working hours for some parents for some single mothers for single parents or for uh, um for people in, in, that are recovering from sickness and other people that are, may, might be having personal issues which i might not uh, uh, remember now so their working hours annual leave pe flexible work hours personal caregivers care imagine if you have if you're in australia working and your family have problem australia in their law it's already that you are it's not like telling your uh, uh, this thing you have to just put a note to it. they understand and you just off you go but here when i was working let me just tell you something that happened to me of recent uh when i was working before i resigned here in this uk i had this uh, accident that keep the uh, reaction or the the, the muzzle pain in it still gives me problem because sometimes if I do fiscal uh, advantage, then it knocks me down or something like that. So in here, they said you have to go six months, leave uh, uh, this thing. The company determine how much they will pay you. Unlike Australia, they pay you your, your wage, your earning. But here, the company, have a, the company can make a law for you. So the 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 uh, um the immigration law and the employment law here are quite different. So that's why it becomes a problem when you have issues like child care problem and all that. So in Australia it's different. They have public holiday. They have compassionate leave if you're bereaved or somebody died in your family. They have community leave. Yes. They have notice of termination and redundancy payout. They have fair work information uh, statements. So 
these are the reason why if you ask me you need to go to australia so australia is not other code like uh, canada australia their salaries are good at least teachers they end up to hundred thousand uh, uh, australian dollars which is around for something but if i i will show you now <laughs> the average teacher salary in uk so their payment are fair so now employment nomination scheme visa is what i want to discuss today it is called ens visa so let me repeat it again <laughs> employer nomination scheme visa this is a visa where australian government have told your employer to employ some certain person that they need you understand what i mean so a school now if a school needs teaching assistants nannies cooks everything they have to go to an a recruitment firm or agencies tell them we need so so numbers so so numbers of nannies so so numbers of cook so so numbers of teachers so so numbers of bakers so so numbers of gardeners so so numbers of farm workers so so numbers of uh, 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 um, uh, uh, medical uh, personnel but let's um, let's come to teaching and teaching assistant teaching assistants in australia equivalent of why uh, uh, um exams that's what all you need assisting uh, teaching assistant and again you need to be doing it for three years minimum of three years so the requirements now another requirement now you have to think of in under this ens this employer's nomination scheme visa that's ens so the 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 things you have to bear in mind goes like this and um, completely a uh, 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 complete uh, nomination <laughs> nomination uh, um, a letter or offer letter or something like that so your company you've done the interview the company have okay look at the way it works recruitment firm you you make an application they read it they see it is something of their interest now as a teacher teaching assistants nanny cook that is going to be working in school then they will know the numbers they need they will take it to a recruitment agency so when they take it to recruitment agency the recruitment agency will put they will put it up as an advertisement they advertise the vacancies for them then they you will now see it and apply the recruitment firm will do the interview and go back to tell them that they found so so person they should look at it then the employer that is using his or her employer's nomination scheme visa will now say this is good person let him or her start coming to australia then they will now send the complete everything that you need to tell the uh, um, Australian uh, um, embassy in Nigeria that look oh, you have done this, you have done that you have done all these things that look at the letter they sent you that you need a visa then you start coming you might be from uh, uh, um, Cameroon, from South Africa from Uganda, from Kenya from Ghana, from Tanzania from uh, uh, Burundi from uh, uh, um, Zimbabwe, from Zambia so you check the home office of australia uh, uh, the government in your country you will not take the letter the recruitment agency you know have given has given you then go to the uh, the embassy for the visa i don't know depending on the years the employer because i don't know the normal years they give because the lady that just got her own they gave her five years so it might differ from employer to another employer so i don't know the how many numbers of years they will give you but whatever it is you are now set to go to australia then you start traveling it's so easy so the thing you have to bear in mind that is that you will complete medical exam meeting character requirements you're not a thief you go to the police and get uh, um, a document stating that you're not a thief and all that 
in the link here when i explained how to come to uk as a care worker i left links to nigerian police for people that are in nigeria i don't know of ghana i don't know of uganda i don't know of tanzania i don't know how you people get police report to show that they are, um, you have a fit character because it's a school recruitment so there are some certain things they look out in your character you know whether you're a sexual offender you're a thief you know all those kind of things so they will look at it uh, the police will now write and stamp so you need that one demonstrating competence in english like i explained before in nigeria if you have a credit you are qualified but some agencies will put it out that they need your iel at yes i think um, the mark they will state the the uh, minimum requirements uh, mark so it will be in their bit like i said before some need it some don't need it because australian government accept that nigeria have english as official language so when you have credit you already pass there's no i e e l t s that you need so the next one is uh, being under 45 that's where i come in because the guy that was telling me to do this video is 48 <laughs> i told him stop waiting for it that they need under 45 it is stated in australian immigration websites it is under 45 they need <laughs> so that's <laughs> that's how, and you know he's a teacher he's been teaching and they they need uh, mathematics they need mathematics science arts social science like literature like uh, um language uh, um french german i don't know whether they need Igbo language jawsa language or Ghanaian. no <laughs> i don't know that one so and all that all these social studies and the religious studies they need christian studies they need their uh, teacher christian studies teachers and islamic teachers as well so they need all these things so now he is 48 and again so if you're over 45 please it's not for you i'm so sorry ens is not for you because it's, it's stated clearly on the day of your arrival to australia that you will not be more than 45 so you might start your visa process that's why i am just telling you about ens and that's the reason because ens is fast so maybe you still have one year or six months you can do it because within two months you'll be in australia if you find a job so now that's another thing that will keep people away so you must be under 45 that's that's it so uh, um ready or having been explained the life in australia booklet you know the recruitment agency will send this uh, uh life in australia booklet to you then the last one is uh, um australian values you must know their values and all the things you know australia value so well so that's it see how easy it is easy easy it is so that is it so you don't need all this uh, preparation australia is the easiest place to come then the next thing you will be asking me now is the agencies that are recruiting foreign teaching or school workers like nannies, uh, um, uh, teaching assistants and all that. So the recruitment firms are as follows. <laughs> Sick teachers is number one. Sansa teachers uh, 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 teaching is number two smart teachers is number three engage education is number four then there's pure teaching that's uh, um i think the girl that's made application there's a girl that made application this morning i gave her a link she made application she applied in that website so i don't know but this uh, five is what i, I know so she applied so i i don't know they, they have not replied her because i know of sansa sansa reply easily and uh sick uh, teachers they reply easily I, I i don't know why they reply easily than others so you should try your luck maybe they will reply you easily so now 
the next thing again you will ask is this how much is the visa i don't know it depends on the country what they will charge to process your visa in nigeria will be different from ghana will be different from burundi will be different from south africa will be different from uganda will be different from zimbabwe will be different from zambia will be different from india will be different from all these countries they will never be the same so i don't know the amount they charge if i now would have tell you because you might wake up tomorrow they have changed their prices i don't know so it's not something that is uh, permanent that you have to give out for people so it's not to give you a, a misinformation i don't know so now <laughs> when you come to australia there are many things uh, um, you need to start doing to guarantee your permanent stay keep out of trouble because if you're coming as a teacher nanny cook you know all these all these uh, uh, jobs in school all these school jobs you know they watch out if you commit a crime you might not teach again if you commit there are some certain crime you will commit even in uk there are some certain crime I, I don't mean like driving crime like driving points you get in uk if you get driving point that is not a i think i don't know whether it's a criminal or civil offense i don't know if you know it you just mention it so if you're coming as a teacher make sure that you read what your police uh, uh department the the form they gave you make sure you read it to make sure that you didn't commit a crime that will put you away from doing school jobs because even if i say cook in school there are some crime you will commit you will not be able to work in school so and there are things you need to do like a uh, 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 theft uh, uh, uh bullying um abuse of any form fund abuse fiscal abuse all this kind of uh, uh, you know teachers uh, and school workers even if you saw a um you might say that this is a, a kitchen a school kitchen or job that it doesn't have anything to do with teaching students they still don't want you in the school premises even close to school even physical assault and so when your police de department in your school give you any form to check or um, i don't know to, to, that this is who they they know as you and your character so you have to read it because there's a guy um somebody was telling me a friend um she he applied to teach i think it was physics or chemistry i've forgotten but it's a science subject he got it everything was going on then he went there was a time they did riot in school so um this riot they they destroy some things you know university riot do you know the police put it in in the record i think he committed a crime i think it was like six years ago he was arrested then so he didn't read it he didn't read what the police says so because they put it in envelope and gave to him he submitted it just like that because he's thinking that the police <laughs> you know they, that kind of crime will not be there but unfortunately you know that time they were doing that riot it was televised and all that their names were written down the police were looking out for them you know and you know when they have their name date of birth everything uh I don't know i think it is one of these south african country the police put it there that um he uh vandalized <laughs> <laughs> i think he got the job from sansa so that's why i said whatever your police give to you before you submit to your country uh, state police or your country police like in nigeria they, they are called nigerian police force so it's a country organization is a federal government organization so whatever maybe you are from south africa maybe you people have regions or county that are different so whatever they put there you have to open it if you sorry you have to open it to check that they did the right thing that they said the right thing <laughs> so that you know your character will not interfere because if you're working in hospital in school 
there are some things that they look out in your character so that's why they mention it here demonstrating uh, um uh, uh, meeting character requirements so you have to meet character requirements so be careful <laughs> be careful so that's the end and you've gotten all the information you need if you're having any problem when you're filling this application or when you want to submit it or uh, there are things you need to be cleared with you know in this video that you think that is not here that you didn't uh, it wasn't explained here enough please ask me in the comment section i always come to the comment section early in the morning and the night to answer some questions if i miss yours still call my attention to it and the link attached to the description of this video that's um, my uh, telegram link is there because when you write me direct to telegram i will get it as fast as i can but please tell me your name and tell me um where you're <laughs> asking me the question from so i can give you because what i would tell a Ghanaian is not something i would tell a nigerian so because we are different police different everything different 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 so that is it and thank you for watching and please don't go to you subscribe and put a leave your notification button on i'll be telling you everything that you need to know about australia and canada europe USA. Thank you so much.